Hello friends on the second day of Swift. So we're going to be learning more on making methods using storyboard and, and more features. So as we all know, this is the this is the properties manager. This is the view controller where we're going to have our code. This is our storyboard. So let's make methods. So, so now we're going to talk about syntax of Swift. So as we see, so the syntax goes like first you have to give the variable name and then goes the data type everywhere. First the variable name, then the data type. So if you if you want to declare a variable, so you say let a so that's the variable name and then you give the data type. So it's int. And then you have empty brackets to instantiate it. So by instantiation, that means that we are giving memory to it. That's how you define an instantiate a instantiate a variable to it. And then you and suppose if you don't want to instantiate a variable like you want to give memory to it later, so you do so you do a colon and then you say int. Uh, you have to instantiate it. Okay. So, I know so you have to instantiate it so you can just give it a 7 or 8 or something so this let is to if you if you want to make it a constant like not change the value and this var is to make it a variable that means you can change value later like let's see let's make it a let then if you say a equals to 10 so inside the method it's gonna so see it is a it is a let constant and then it cannot be made to now if you make it to val now this error should go see so that's a difference between a and b uh, let and val that's a string and for array they simply you just do it like this that's an array and for dictionary you just do it like this or you can just define like a string or a string or a number or a string or whichever way you want that's how you define a variable uh, different data types of variable now let's talk about making methods so you say func uh, example and those, these are the empty brackets for inputs because we don't want any inputs to be called and then we gonna call this method now from over here we're gonna call self dot method example we're gonna create a method and over here to see we're gonna print it uh, method example is called okay so this view did load is called before the view controller is loaded and then this method will be called so if we uh, run the project Let's make it to iPhone 5 because it's much faster. So if you make it iPhone 5, you will see like before the metal is loaded. So this metal will be called method example is called. That's how it goes. And now if you want to make it the method as that receives an input so first the name and then the type so now it will we have to send an input to us so I sent a 7 and to print it out the way it is is you do a backslash and then you give brackets inside it and now you so now this should print out the input to it And now if you want to make it to a method that returns a value you can make it in a way that gives you back let's make it a string so now you have to return a string so you say return quotations hhi okay just a random string and over here you have to save it to a string so let's save it to b 
then we're gonna print out B see so it working the string is high so guys so we learned how to make methods how to make methods to classes and then uh, how to make a method how to declare a variable how to make a method with just input with string and now with string uh, and then return value so we uh, learned to make methods now we're gonna make a class now so a class is just a collection of methods right so we're gonna make a class uh, try methods try methods so we so we made a class now and then we're gonna shift this method that we wrote in here the method is the same everything is the same we just shifted the method from this class view controller to this class okay now now this self means this class the view controller class and now this method is not there anymore so you can't use self so we have to use this class name try methods and then we are gonna use this so we use these brackets to instantiate the class and then we call the method of it now if you run it it should work so you see, uh, yeah it, it's working so you see so we created a class with a method in it and then we created the class we instantiated the class and then we call the method in it and then we pass and value and it returns us a string and the string is printed that's how you define a class and then you call the method always remember that whenever you call the class you have to instantiate the class 